And talking of multiplexes near you, Katie Derham has been learning about the nerve centre of any cinema, the projection room. Warner Cinemas even run a training school for budding projectionists. Not a lot of people know that, but Katie Derham does now. Oh, right. Okay. Right. That was Sheriff Walls. You better get down that jail. It's a tough life for a projectionist, really. Get it right, nobody even knows you're there. Get it wrong, and you're suddenly public enemy number one. But for those of you who think that it's just a question of sitting up there with your feet up and pressing play, think again. The job's, in fact, so skilled that in a multiplex like this, the projectionists have to go back to school before they're allowed to be let loose in a cinema. The main problem facing any projectionist is that although the film we get to see runs for a continuous two hours or so, when they get it, it's all in bits. Not only that, they've got to worry about the trailers, they've got to worry about the lights, the air conditioning, the sound, and of course, getting the whole thing in focus. It's enough to make anyone need to go back to school. The intermittent is the heart of a projector. Warner Brothers Cinemas have started this course to give cinema projectionists full training and they're working towards it becoming a national vocational qualification. At the end of two months you've got to pass a written, oral and practical exam. This part of the course is what I call think patrons. If the sound is too high, for an example in Bridges of Madison County, and the people want to hear instead of being drowned out by the volume, you take it down to an audible level. If it's something like uh, a razor where it's an impact and most of the audience are sort of uh, youngish who want the sound, then you judge, you bring it up. If the shutter goes out... The most important thing we were going to be taught was a projectionist trade secret. Have you ever wondered what those oh, black right. dots are in the corner of the screen? Oh, right. When you see the, a flash of a, uh, a black dot in the, on the top right hand corner, don't be alarmed, it's only a cue going through. Remember, it's a trade secret as such. This is what we look for. The customer shouldn't, but we should. You miss one cue, you're going to get what happens. And with all the noise. <laughs> are starting to come in, but little do they know that if I've forgotten everything that I've learnt on this course today, or if I miss those cue dots, they could be going out just as quickly as they came in. Hi, uh, one for Twister, please. Certainly, one for Twister. Uh, that's for the 720. Go down with the lights first. House lights down. And stage lights. Okay, those are going down all right, yeah. Okay. Projector it's on. Projector. Okay. Dowser. Dowser. Up. Up. And then shut. That's it. And in sound. Sound is on. Yep. So everything so far is going okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so with your help I got through that but I've still got my first real change to go. You definitely, yes. Mm. Okay. Well, you know the bird has survived two strokes. I don't think he would survive a third. All right, I'm waiting. Yeah. Stand by, Katie. Wow. There, got it. Well, well done, Casey. Well done, indeed. Well, nobody knows stars there, do no, they? No, I don't think so, do. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Well, take a tip from me. Next time you visit a cinema, ask if Katie Derham's working the projector. If she is, go somewhere else.